We'll be able to rendezvous with her soon. Oh, Proxy! I knew we could count on you! The rendezvous point is near the highway. We're almost there. Master, please be aware. Explosive items detected in the vicinity. Oh, it's something. Watch me burn him to the ground! Warning. Bernice has activated reckless charge mode. Who's that? What terrible taste. Someone who uses Golden Damsel in Distress as their internal username has no right to question my taste. Uh, shut up! Signals detected in the area ahead. Great, Piper's already here. I can finally get my back. Proxy's call. Little old me wouldn't keep you waiting for a minute longer. Your rides are here for you. Let's get a rolling. Thanks, little old you. Guys, let's ride. Slow down, Bernice. You're going too fast. It's time to find out who's the fastest. We might be able to get ahead of them. Ooh-wee! You youngin' sure got some fire in your belly. Proxy, get on! Let's head out! Since we have the upper hand, we might as well call it a day. But seeing you like this really brings out my predatory instincts. Aww. Oh, stop. <laughs> so warm. Are you crazy? Bernice, it's 
move to stroke someone's tail if you don't know them. Oh, yeah! The first one you meet should be a scratch under the chin, right? Ugh, don't patronize me. No, cats are so cute when they're angies. Damn it. The enemies are tired. Keep it up. Caesar, let me help out one hey. Nice work, for Oh, that is? But I haven't had enough fun yet. How come this month? Okay, okay, that's enough. I give up. What? You give up? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Explain yourself. It means the refitted parts will be returned, and I'll give up the parts from the vehicle graveyard. So let's just pretend none of this ever happened. Huh. Pretend none of this ever happened? What? Feeling hard done by? After I bought the parts, no one else should have come by. This shouldn't affect the Sons of Caledon's reputation. Besides, if my employer finds out I failed, it won't do me any good either. So, I'll say the job's done. You benefit from this, too. Pretend none of this ever happened? Come on, what's your deal? What more do you want? Oh, but... But we were having so much fun just now! Uh, what? Kitty, you're really good. I've never seen a siren as skilled and cute as you before. Cute? Wait, what are you talking about? I mean it, and it looks like the legends are true. Cat sirens aren't loyal to their masters. Huh. Oh, I'm just a mercenary working to get paid. And about my employer, hmm. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of him. But I can't reveal his identity. I don't want to cause trouble for myself, so don't even go there. That's okay. We won't ask. Hey, Bernice, this isn't your decision to make! <laughs> Leave her be, Lucy. Once Bernice has her mind made up, nothing's gonna change it. Kitty, if you don't like your current employer, why not join the Sons of Calidon? Huh? <laughs> Aren't you afraid I'll betray you? No one's safe from the sharp claws of a cat siren. Don't worry, I've heard that kitties choose to partner up with only the strongest. The Sons of Calidon can definitely live up to that. We'll see. Once you've actually proven you're the strongest, at least. And stop calling me Kitty! I do have a name. It's Pulkra. Okay, Pulkra. Let's play again next time. With a playmate who doesn't know their own strength? I think I'll pass. But... I am partial to warm places. Proxy, sorry to call you here so late. I'll cut to the chase. I have an extra commission for you. 
and I need you to keep it secret. Why keep it from others? We're in a crucial stage of our preparation for the race, and I don't want this throwing anyone off their game. You must have noticed. Lately, every time we go into the hollows, we're met with one obstacle after another. Ugh, it's clear someone has it out for us. I did a background check on Bellum and Polkra. There's no public info linking them to any biker gang, but I bet they've got something to do with the Vanquishers. You don't suspect any of the other biker gangs? The Torrid Inferno is a head-to-head -head duel between us and the Vanquishers. Since one team will end up with the next Overlord, it's best not to cause trouble right now. Also, knowing Lucius, there's no way he's not involved. <sighs> but we don't have solid proof, so we can't do anything about it. Proxy, I expected some tricks from our rivals, but something's off. Their intel is always right on the money. If they didn't know about our plans ahead of time, how could they keep getting the jump on us? Someone in town must be feeding intel to the Vanquishers. Do you need me to help out? Not for now. I need to narrow down the suspects first. I'll look into it. I might need your help further down the line, though. Got it. Just say the word! Thanks. Oh, and just a reminder, don't tell the others. Especially Bernice and Caesar. Bernice can't keep a secret. And as for Caesar, well, never mind. You sure are worried, Lucy. What can I do? Everyone else is so naturally optimistic around here. Anyway, I'll contact you once I get a breakthrough. Wait for my word. Bye.
Proxy, it's you. Are you looking for Lucy? Yes, I wanted to go over the details of the Tour d'Inferno with Lucy. Ah, Proxy, you really know how to keep your mouth shut. That's good to know. I've said it before, if you can't keep a secret and are slow to react, you're not cut out to be a proxy. Piper, were you testing me just now? Sorry, sorry. But what comes next is crucial, and it's messier than we thought. Proxy, the suspicious individual was discovered by Piper. She'll fill you in on the details. Here's the deal. Ever since we've set up camp here, I've noticed something odd. Every time Blazewood ships out their handicrafts, Casa always leaves town for two or three hours at night, carrying hollow gear with her. Since Lucy told me there might be a mole, one night I pretended I couldn't sleep and talked to Casa when she was about to leave. She said she was out for a stroll because she also couldn't sleep, and then she just went back inside as if everything was normal. But an hour later, she snuck out of Blazewood again. Looks like Casa could very well be the informant. Ugh, this is terrible news. Casa's relationship with the Sons of Caledon goes back longer than I've been around. We set up camp here because of that trust. And to Caesar, Casa has always been like a big sister. Someone she can rely on. If she really has backstabbed us. Caesar is going to be torn up about it. So, we have to investigate this discreetly. If we're right about this, we need to solve it without Caesar knowing. This is a tough situation. Like speeding downhill heading for a turn, but your brakes are out. But dwelling on the worst case scenario won't help. We have to roll with the punches, cause that's how the Sons of Caledon do. Piper's right. Once the wild boar charges, there's no backing down. Proxy. I heard there's another shipment going out in a few days. Casa should follow her usual routine. We'll follow her at night and see what she's up to. Touch my tail, and now. All right, we're in the hollow. How are things with Bernice and Caesar? I checked. Caesar's already asleep. That girl's got a routine like clockwork. And Bernice is all taken care of. I sparred with her the entire day to wear her out. Looks like tonight, the ethereals in the hollow won't taste my perfect one-hit KO. They got off lucky. Quit whining, Lighter. If you'd hidden the nitro fuel better, we wouldn't be in this mess. All right, let's get moving. Only the three of us and the proxy can handle this now. Hey! 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 
Better dodge. Looks like this isn't the right way.
Take that. Supposed to come alone. What are you talking about? Hand over the goods like you promised. <laughs> if you want the goods, you're gonna have to pay up. <sighs> or I'll just take it from the sons of Caledon. Wait, what? <laughs> you're mine now. And my prey never escapes. Oh, yeah? Bring it on! More cause us, let's settle this right now! Caesar trusted you. What are you doing running with them? Hang on, Lucy, I can explain. You guys met up here in secret. What else is there to explain? I'm cruising now. What did they hook you up with? not like that. It's just that the town is in dire need of necessities. Ever since the gas station ran out of gas, we've been running low on money and resources. What? You never mentioned any of this before. Nothing to it. The perfect fight. Supplies will get corrupted if left in the hollow. Casa. Mm -hmm. Take them with you. Uh. Hmm? Overlord Pompeii? It's been a while, Caesar of the Sons of Caledon. To think that little sprout by Big Daddy's side would dare bring her underlings to challenge me. Overlord Pompey, while the Sons of Caledon still recognize you as the leader of the Motor League, you'd better explain why you're here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That will be addressed soon enough. But first, there's a more pressing matter. Caesar, these goods are what the Vanquishers promised to deliver to Blazewood. Are you deciding to let the mayor take them? Don't push your luck. Lucy, wait. I heard you arguing with Casa earlier. I checked these boxes. They really are food and medicine. They weren't lying. No matter where they came from. These are things the town needs. But... Casa... If you're in a bad spot, why didn't you ask us for help? We've known each other for years. Caesar, I was actually planning to ask you for help. But then you came in all excited, telling me you qualified for the Tour d'Inferno and asked if you could stay in Blazewood for a while. The Sons of Caledon have helped Blazewood so much over the years. At a crucial time like this, we have no way to repay you. So how could we make you worry about this for us too? Repay? Selling us out to the Vanquishers is your idea of repaying us? Selling you out? Wait, Lucy, I've... She's telling the truth. Although you have the favor of Blazewood, when Casa suggests... After all, 
We can't disrupt the peace among League members. So you're saying the leak about our whereabouts has nothing to do with you? Standing your ground is a good trait, but not knowing when to back down is just disrespectful. I'm here to resolve this matter. Today I found this in the handicrafts Blazewood delivered. This vial should have contained heavy oil, the lifeblood of the old oil field. So why is this here? <sighs> also, the supplies delivered to Blazewood of late seem to be less than what was agreed upon. Do you know anything about this? Boss, Pompey, I... I... Moors, I didn't bring you along for the Tour d'Inferno just for you to play dirty tricks. If we, as the League Overlord... I'm so sorry. I messed up. I wasn't thinking straight. It's all my fault. I'll take the punishment. You're willing to take your punishment. Do you think you alone can bear the responsibility for the damage that you've caused? Sons of Caledon, Casa. Moors is my subordinate. I failed to manage him properly. I won't shift the blame onto him. As the current Overlord... I'll take responsibility for this, and provide compensation. <laughs> nice speech. Now how do you plan to fix this? Recently, I negotiated and reached cooperation agreements with several areas neighboring the old oil field. According to the agreement, the old oil field's damaged oil pipelines can be rebuilt through other regions, as long as we provide some of the oil to them. Wait, does that mean our town's oil supply is saved? That's right. Within three months, the supply should be restored. Also, several regions have agreed to share the roads, opening up at least five new freight routes for the old oil field. Sons of Caledon. In the next six months, I plan to have you manage three of these routes. I take it you won't refuse. You mean you're just gonna hand them over on a silver platter? I heard you've been drawing bad roots lately. Though it's just a coincidence, it's time to compensate you. And though the new roots are lucrative, they also traverse treacherous areas and require experienced riders. I have a condition, though. You need to help the less fortunate residents in these three regions for free during this period. And any teams using the roots in the future must do the same. How does that sound? Hey, Lucy, how are the terms? Are they really as good as he says? If it's true, it does solve our long-standing issues with Blazewood. Plus, with expanded roots, the other biker gangs would see a significant income boost. Hmm, I see. Hey, oh man, your terms are certainly interesting. But it looks like you're making assumptions. The title of Overlord and who gets to allocate the roots hasn't been decided yet. If I become Overlord, I'll be fairer than you. <laughs> you can certainly talk the talk. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> All right, I agree. Caesar, here's a letter of commitment I wrote myself. The root allocations will be officially announced soon. See you at the Tour d'Inferno. bugs the handicrafts sent to Blazewood for processing, and was listening in on our conversations. Yes, and once the goods were processed and shipped out, they could discreetly retrieve the listening device. It's a flawless plan. If that's the case, why did the Overlord reveal this? At that point, we hadn't even discovered the listening device. Even if we hadn't found the listening device, once we cleared things up with Casa, we would have eventually started to suspect the handicrafts. That's right. If we found the bugs ourselves, things would have gotten out of hand. Is there a difference? Oh, Bernice, always 
so optimistic. The Overlord stepping up shows some sincerity, at least. If we had confronted him, even if it was all Moore's is doing, he wouldn't have accepted his terms, right? Mishandling this could have shaken the foundations of the Motor League, jeopardizing the safety of the old oil field. It would have caused that much trouble? Yes. We've been able to live relatively peacefully, thanks to the League ensuring the security of our oil resources. You have to understand, our oil isn't just coveted by other regions in the Outer Ring. Big city companies see it as the only thing stopping them from expanding into the Outer Ring. If something happens to the oil, the biker gangs might have a chance to move to other areas. But everyone else won't be so lucky. Especially Blazewood. The residents are mainly the elderly or children, and their ether aptitude is weak. Oh, Proxy! There you are! Sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Proxy, I want to discuss Caesar. Ever since we met with the Overlord, she's been acting weird. She's usually straightforward and energetic. But lately, she's just been sitting on her own, lost in thought. She's even eating less than usual. Maybe she's not feeling well. Bernice told me Caesar's going deaf. She didn't respond even after shouting three times. You've got to help her! I think it's related to what happened that day. But if I ask her, she won't tell me the truth. <clears throat> uh, just so you know, I don't really care what's wrong with her, but she's still the leader of the Sons of Caledon, and I can't let her affect the others. Proxy, can you come up with something? All right, I'll try to be subtle about it. I'm planning to head back to New Eridu tomorrow to copy some offline data. It might be a good opportunity. That's a good idea. And Caesar hasn't been to New Eridu much. You can show her around. All right, I'll handle Caesar. Tomorrow, have her take you to New Eridu on her bike. I'll leave the rest to you.